I, I want you to imagine with me a world where people are awakened to the beautiful reality of God's grace and mercy and love. For example, my wife Vicki is not the woman I married and I am not the man she married. The grace of God has awakened us. I promise y'all, you would not have liked me before Jesus. I would have been shallow, emotionally cut off, and very arrogant because I played football and was entitled. You wouldn't have liked me. Imagine a world where the grace of God transforms people so much so that they love him with all of their heart, mind, soul, and strength, and then they begin to love their neighbors, which is, how can I be generous to you? How can I make your life better today? How, how can I display Jesus for you today? And then they begin to grow in self-awareness of what it means to be loved by God. I know that many of you are haunted by thoughts of inadequacy. Thoughts of, I'm worthless. Thoughts of, I'll never measure up. And the reality is, those thoughts are true. But Jesus becomes the answer. Jesus becomes our good enough. Jesus becomes our adequacy. Jesus becomes our righteousness. Jesus becomes our very life. In the words of the psalmist, Jesus becomes our shield, our defense, and our protection. That he is my good enough. That he is your good enough. That you are worthy because he's worthy that God the Father sings and dances over you because Christ is in you.